She protect. She attack. But most importantly, Mini Ganyu is back. About half a year ago, my Diona was able to reach 100k damage, and my setup back then was, let's just say, critically challenged. But with my upgraded support characters, surely 200k damage would be a piece of cake, right? This will be the setup. I don't think I'm going to be changing this, because this is all I need for <laughs> big PP damage numbers right here. Diona, Sucrose, Shenha, and Bennett. If anything's changed, I guess it's my Shenha with her best in slot. Bennett, he's C6 now, but doesn't really matter. So from the last time, my Diona was C4, I think, but now she's C6, so we got extra EM. My Sucrose as well was like C5 last time, but now we got C6, so that's extra damage bonus right there. Elemental damage bonus. And then I'm pretty sure I didn't have an Elemental Mastery Sands or Goblet back then. So she's now at close to 1000 EM. That's pretty much it. I might try the Aqua Bow later on, just for the raw crit damage. But for now, I want to try the Amos Bow first. This will be the first weapon of choice because she is Mini Ganyu. So it wouldn't be Mini Ganyu if <laughs> she wasn't using Big Ganyu's or regular Ganyu's best in slot bow, you know. But we got to crown her first. So I need 15 more of these. All right, let me just farm the books first just so we could go. All right, that's it, bruh. Okay, so I just need 13. This is just enough. Diona triple crown moment right now. It's pretty much gonna be useless, but I'm still gonna do it anyways. I have 17 crowns. I haven't crowned anyone in such a long time, so... This is gonna be my second character, triple crowned after Ayaka. Sheesh, okay. I wanna go straight to probably not Scaramouche boss. I think we could just go to Robot Cube. So last time I dealt like a little over 100k. Pretty sure it was not 120k though. If I remember correctly, it was like 110k or something. All right, the build. So we're rocking a four piece Wanderer's troop, or I think this is one of the new pieces I just leveled up yesterday. Pretty good. Uh, feather, uh, it, it's fine. Crit damage right there. Sands, this thing, and we're just using a filler crit damage piece here. Attack right now, 2k. Pretty high. Crit rate, still not very good, but as usual, I'm gonna be using a plus 20% crit rate food buff right there. Crit damage, this one, close to 200%. Then we have 70.6% cry damage bonus, so... Alright, let me think of the rotation right here. I think I could use Shenha Burst and her hold E skill, I'm pretty sure. But Sucrose... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use her burst because if I use sucrose burst it would have to be cryo butterfly and if it's cryo butterfly it's it's gonna be pretty hard for me to reverse melt because the pyro would just be melted off with the cryo butterfly. I guess the rotation would be something like I start with Diona E and then just sucrose swirl then Shenha to Bennett. So I'm gonna start with this. Oh it was actually at the other side. Do this. Do this, do this, then do a Bennett thing, and then, oh wait, I forgot my, oh, there it is, 100k, <laughs> easily, but I, I forgot my, I forgot to use my, my Diona burst for her C6, but <laughs> as you just saw, 100k with Diona is pretty easy now with my improved <laughs> characters and setup right here. All right, we have to we have to retry this because 100k damage is not big enough. The goal would be 200k right now. That 100k was too easy, too easy, too easy for Diona, man. I'm just glad it crit like right off the bat there. So we do this, swirl it, do this, hold, bend a thing, uh, Diona burst. Okay, now we don't have Pyro. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is gonna be the issue here. <laughs> if I use my Diona Burst, it's gonna take away the Pyro <laughs> from Bennett. Yeah, the only problem now is getting the Pyro application. Sucrose Burst after Bennett. Okay, I could use Sucrose Burst, but it's just not gonna be Cryo application. So I'm gonna use Sucrose Burst, but it's not gonna be, it's not for her C6, just for the Pyro application. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Actually just remembered another, ha <laughs> another hack here. Let's go Miss Splitter. Oh, God damn it. Okay, we just gotta not die again. 
Okay, wait, hold on. Let me not mess up the rotation. So we go this, this. Oh, wait. Pyro butterfly. Okay, pyro butterfly. Nice. Hold. Go to the edge. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy. Not quite 200k, but I feel like 200k is definitely possible though. If only we had more distance for the Amos bow passive. But damn, that's like two shots in a row. Crit R right off the bat. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, man. I mean, Diona did give us a hard time last time. I had to run like 50 runs or whatever just to get the crit because I had like zero crit rate before and Robot Cube doesn't have a weak spot. So crit shots here with aimed with charge bow shots are not a guaranteed crit. I do want to try to reach a 200k though, but I feel like it's going to be pretty hard because I would have to I would have to use Bennett E or something and then like burst away just to add some distance. But I'm not sure because if I use my Diona burst she's just gonna chuck it over to the robot cube so I don't think there's any way I could make my Diona burst not go close or not get close to the pyro cube you know so I feel like I'm just gonna do aqua simulacra right now it is at level 80 but I feel like it's fine because it does have this passive right here this is just basically a 20% damage increase, right? When there are opponents nearby. I mean, when isn't there opponents nearby when you're fighting? So that's like a 20% straight up raw damage increase right there. So we're sacrificing attack percent. We were at 2k earlier and now we're at 1.4k. And then we get like 80% crit damage or something. All right, let's try this, bro. Hopefully it crits. Hopefully it crits. I mean, we've been pretty lucky with the crits so far. So I'm gonna I'm believe in the mini Ganyu luck you can add cryo potion yeah actually i was planning to do that for the first time i'm actually gonna use some cryo potion like i actually prepared some cryo potions right here okay i'm gonna use that after we see the damage here right here pyro butterfly nice shenha and crit oh 184 okay so it's definitely higher definitely higher okay so i feel like just adding a cryo potion in here is definitely gonna make it go 200k bruh so far we haven't missed a crit what is this mini ganyu luck bruh three runs in and we've crit every time damn okay we'll go we'll go potion time then i'm definitely gonna use aqua bow now <laughs> instead of amos bow but this is still mini ganyu even without the signature bow i have a good feeling this one's gonna crit as well i have 55 right now yeah 55 with the crit rate food buff so it's not exactly high <laughs> it's 50 50 but we just managed to win the 50 50s maybe this is a sign i'm gonna lose the 50 50 on the actual banners hopefully not hopefully not knock on wood cryo potion and crit rate food buff okay Let's do this, man. Do this, do this, do this. Pyro butterfly. Okay, good. Shenha. Diona. And... Bro! Okay, I just... <laughs> I just ran out of time, like, that was like one second, bro. Do this. Oh, wait, we don't have Bennett Burst. Holy shit. Minor technical difficulty. <laughs> Fuck, man. I was distracted. I was distracted for real. This thing, this thing, and then Diona. Boom. Wait! Okay, no, that wasn't- that wasn't a melt. That wasn't a melt. <laughs> At least it crit. Something must have taken away the pyro melt there. I mean, the reverse melt. It could have been Shenha E or something, or her burst. Or Diona burst. But 73k non-melt though, is that a 200k? I don't think that's 200k. Because reverse melt is times 1.5, right? Do this, and then Diona. No! Bruh. Maybe the first couple of runs we just got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> like super lucky. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The buffs expired. Hold on. Hopefully this is still good. Okay. Looks looks pretty good. No. Fire of butterfly. Oh my. It's actually dead. Maybe I'll not attack it so much at the start, so it would actually have enough HP left. It's a Shenha showcase, actually. Wait, what? 170? Wait, that's even less damage. Bro, what? <laughs> what the hell? 
At least it crit. Like, there hasn't been a time where it hasn't crit yet. Scara time. Oh, bro, level 60 Scara is just gonna die to Bennett's burst. All right, I'm gonna try this one more time, Robot Cube. If we still don't get it, uh, we're, we're going Scaramouche. And then... Bro, let's use our math here. I have a calculator right here. 73k plus 73k times 1.5 for reverse melt. It would have been 182? 182k? Give or take. So it wouldn't even have been 200k. All right, maybe we'll try out Scaramouche Boy. Wait, I remember doing a cryo damage showcase here and Scaramouche boss just... You can't clear the cryo application. For some reason, elements stick to him much more. Okay, let me show you guys if... The thing I'm talking about is actually real because I remember I'm not I wasn't able to clear the cryo or something look Yup, there you go like two sucrose ease and Cryo was still on him. So I think we're gonna have to go back to mr. Robot cube right now. All right Okay Boom. Oh, what? Yo, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. We're like 4k short. 4k short. Holy. Maybe I'm gonna use uh, crit damage boost as well. Because I do have this, this thing right here. Which also boosts crit damage. But I only have one of it. <laughs> I only have one. Also, I kind of forgot that with C4 Diona, when I'm standing on my burst, charge attack time is shortened. So I don't have to wait for the full charge time like this. Okay, 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 okay. Take this, and then we'll take another cry damage, just to be sure. No! Oh, okay, that's the first non-crit. That's the first non-crit. What the fuck? The first non-crit. That's my last crit rate food buff with the crit damage. So we're not gonna run this again. We could calculate for the damage though. What's my crit damage right now? 283.4. I could just multiply 55 times 3.834. It would have been 210k or so. Oh wait, this one also buffs the thingy. It has crit damage as well. So we have like two tries left. This thing right here and then cryo damage. All right. This is it, bruh. This is it. Okay. Okay. Oh, there you go. Done. It's done. It's done. We're done. <laughs> We're done, boys. We're done. Let me just put him out of his... Oh, wow. I was gonna do a charge attack, but the E skill dealt like 20k each. Mini Ganyu final season. Part 2. This is probably the end of the DPS Diona series, I guess. There's nothing more I could do with her. Unless I get a R5 Amos bow or something, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. I'm sure gonna miss Diona. That's gonna be it for Diona, man. Say goodbye to Diona now. 07. 07 is for Diona. 07 is like a salute emoji, right? Goodbye, Diona. <laughs> You've carried my channel for, I think that was eight months ago. My first DPS Diona video popped off and now we're at the end of our Diona journey. So that's it, man. Who's the next character you're gonna do? Uh, definitely Briefcase Man and Snake Man.